Good morning, everybody. Movie Fan 2002 here. And um, as crazy as it is, we're reaching near the end of April. Pretty soon, May will be upon us. And you know what that means? The, the summer will, will, will be here. And that also means the summer movie season will be upon us. And with, and with that in mind, I feel like it's now more than a perfect time that I give you guys my top 10 most anticipated movies for the summer of 2024. These aren't the films are most... I'm mainly like, like intrigued or very excited to watch this, this summer. Like as the trailers or like just the ideas of them alone just sound just so amazing. So anyways, without further ado, let's get into the, into it, shall we? I don't really have that much honorable mentions mainly because like um there isn't really that a whole lot that I could think of and and especially again due to the writer strike last year this is this is pretty much what the best I can do. Anyways, number ten I have Twisters now. Now, now this is more of like a sequel slash reboot to like that film from the '90s, and from what I saw in the Super Bowl, it actually looks a lot of fun. Yes, it could be something that's more like over the top corniness, just for the sake of like a huge bunch of insane, thrilling stunts that are me meant to be more ridiculous. But I think it kind of could have worked. Plus, it stars Gl Glenn Powell, who's one of the actors from Top Gun Maverick. So any actor from Top Gun Maverick is going to be in that film. I'm looking forward to it. Like. That's awesome. So I'm looking forward to it. I don't think it will be a, an, like, a, like an epic masterpiece or anything, but I do believe it will be something that is, that is a whole lot of fun. Okay, coming in at number nine, I have A Quiet Place Day One. Now, recently I did check out the Quiet Place films, and they were really, really impressive. Like, I was very amazed by it. So it's, so it's amazing to know that we're getting like a some sort of prequel to this, focusing on a new class. I mean, I would have been down for a third film, but oh well, this could work in the meantime. That's, it'll be interesting to see like like all the events leading up to it. Plus, the cast that they got is r really cool. Like th they're shaping this up to be something that is just freaking freaking amazing. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. I don't know how it will turn out, but but I think it'll be pretty good. Although this is one of the two films that I might not see until like once I get back from my trip in Europe, but for the most part. Although, I will try to see it in theaters, like, if I do get the chance to, although, although then again, I might be more busy getting myself prepared for a, another film that'll be, that will be, on, that will be on this list that we'll be getting to pretty soon. Okay, number eight I have is the Garfield movie. Now, I know what, you, now I know what you're thinking. Wait, why did you put the Garfield movie over, over a Quiet Place Day 1? Well, I'll get to that. Now, yes, I know I... In the past, I might have slammed a bit on Garfield, mainly, mainly because of the Garfield show, but I do am some, somewhat of a casual fan of Garfield. Plus, pl but the real main reason why I'm actually looking forward to this film is that, well, some of the team of the Emperor's New Groove is behind this, especially the director, Mark Dindal. So I'm looking fo forward to this movie, as it does seem like it could be pretty funny. In fact, from the trailers, it looks like it could be such a really, such a really funny film. It it does have, it does have like some sort of the wit and humor of the Garfield movie. Yes, the story might not be the strongest asset of the film, as like a heist movie for a Garfield film feels a bit, a bit unorthodox. Although if you're doing a Garfield movie, I mean you do have to have a bit more exciting adventurous elements to it. But then again, the movie could turn out to work very well as long. But even so, I'm still looking forward to this movie. I mean, it looks very nice. The cast, is th I actually don't mind the cast that they got, and and again, it does look. It looks like it's going to be a really hilarious feature. So yeah, I can't wait. So yeah, I'm actually I'm looking forward to it. Number seven is If. You know, Imaginary Friend. Yeah, from from the looks of, the, of this film, it looks like it's going to be a really great, a great one. Now, and now, yes, I know. Yes, I mean, it does look a slight bit childish, but then again, it's a movie about, like, ch like child's, children's imaginary friends. And it does... And again, it does look pretty interesting. Plus, I love the whole idea that, like, childhood friends are starting to be forgotten and, like, they need to find new ways to, like, be safe. Like, I like that. It uh, it actually adds a bit more of, like, what happens when people... Go so it's going to add to, like, a bit of what people are growing up about. Maybe it won't take it, like, too seriously, but I'm still... But it does seem like it'll be a lot of fun. Plus, it will be nice to start my summer vacation with a movie that is very fun. And I will, will enjoy that. So yeah, plus the look of the of the ifs just looks amazing, and and I think everyone just looks amazing in the in the cast. Like plus, this is one of two films on this list that that has Ryan Reynolds on it. 
the other one will be coming pretty soon. Anyways, um, number six, I have the first movie that I'm actually look that that's coming out this summer that I'm looking forward to, The Fall Guy. I didn't know what to think of it at first, but when I saw like those trailers, like oh my god, this looks amazing. Like it has, like it looks like. Plus, it's starring Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt, which. It is just so freaking cool. Just can't wait for that. Yeah, I heard that this film is sort of more of a remake of another movie with the same name, which to me, which that is kind of cool. But I feel don't really think that it really is from from the looks of the trailer. But no, oh well, I mean, that's what I think overall. I'm really lo looking forward to the one. I don't really have that much to add because like the trailers just make them look like a lot of fun. And a movie about like a stuntman going on a mission to like say save, save someone is pretty. Pretty awesome. Coming in at number five is Alien Romulus. Now I know what you guys are about to say. What another alien movie? Come on, we come on. They've been get, they've been stinking, they've been sunking downhill a lot lately. I mean, sure Prometheus was cool, but the others were bad. Well, yes, I do sort of see where you're coming from. Let me explain to you what I'm meaning. This is set in between the events of of Alien and Aliens, so you can all fit. Breathe and, and take a take a huge breather on this one because we're going going to be back to a much more simpler times, and I'm looking forward to it. Like the fact that we're that we're doing this just looks pretty cool. It's an it, it's another film in the franchise, and I'm just really looking forward to it. Sure, James Cameron nor Ridley Scott are coming back on this one, but well, I, I think because I'm not so sure if I don't know who's directing this one again. But from the looks of the trailer of that teaser, it looks amazing. It's like bringing back like. The thrill, the thrillerness of the first film of the original, and the and and the action-packed elements of Aliens. If that's what what we can get out of this movie, then I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, if so yeah, and let's hope this is our first truly fantastic a Aliens movie since since 1986. Fingers crossed. Don't let us down. Okay, number four is Furiosa. Holy crap, it has been nearly a decade since we last had a Mad Max film on the big screen. Because the, because the last time he, George Miller gave us one, it turned out to be the best film of the franchise with Fury Road. Well, so, well, our next step is to do a prequel on possibly, on one of the most, on, on one of that movie's most badass characters, Furiosa. More specifically, her origins. I'll be honest, I, I didn't really know like if this movie was needed, but holy crap, the trailers are sell selling me on this one. It looks like it'd be awesome. Yes, I do see there are a bit more CGI, but the way, but if, but I'm still freaking hyped. The casting is great, and the action's still gonna be as gripping as ever. I don't know if it will be like as insanely action packed as Fury Road, although we'll have to wait and see, cause like that film was like action packed like the whole way through. But even so, I. Cannot wait to see how this film is going to turn out. Definitely being there opening weekend, or maybe later, it'll depend. But I'm definitely going to be seeing it like when, it, like not long after it gets released. And it's coming at the same weekend as Garfield. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I think. So yeah. Um. Do you think this is another Barbenheimer, or do you think they're saving that for like a different film this year? All right. Coming in at number three, I have Inside Out Two. Hey, look, a Pixar sequel that I actually want. Yeah, now this is a Pixar sequel that I'm looking forward to because from the trailers, this seems like it's gonna be a good, a great movie. Like, yeah, the original Inside Out is a top five Pixar film for me, and I and from what I'm seeing from the trailers, it looks like they're about to continue it very well. This doesn't feel like a sequel that's just made for the fans. No, no, no. no. This feels like a sequel that is made that was made like by the crew and like some and like they want to continue what what the first film did very well. Yes, I am somewhat disappointed that Pete Doctor isn't coming back for this one, but but outside of that, I'm still excited to see what the film has in store. I mean, we got our fa I mean, all my favorite characters are com coming back, along with some great new additions. P plus, it look plus it looks amazing from the animation. And overall, like it's a f follow up to one of my favorite Pixar films. Yes, I know Pixar. Most Pixar sequels aren't as good as as the originals. Like like for example. Like Finding Dory is a fit, is a great Pixar sequel, but I, but I don't think it's as good as the original classic. Although at the time I sort of did, but you get the idea. I say like the only Pixar sequels that some would say like are are as good 
as the original, it's Toy Stories 2 and 3. Like, those are possibly the only ones. But yeah, I'm still looking forward to Inside Out 2. I don't know how, I don't know, like, if, there, if it is going to top the original or not. It might not, but I really do hope they can at least deliver a fantastic continuation. Just fingers crossed. That they, even if Pete Doctor is returning, I hope they, they nail it very well. Even if, again, I will have to wait till when I come back from my trip, from my trip in Europe to watch the film. Okay, these top two are my top two most anticipated films of the entire year thus far, like as of right now. Okay, number two is Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I love the tr that trilogy from twenty from the twenty tens, and I cannot wait to see how how they continue it. Sure, it is. It is possibly impossible it's going to top that trilogy. In fact, I highly doubt it. But, but what that trilogy will lack in terms of, in terms of topping it, it will more than make up for it with what it's going to present with us. And it looks amazing. It's at a few hundred years after the events of war. Like the, it will be focusing on new on a new cast of, an entirely new cast of characters. The visuals look amazing as they did in the previous films. Like the story seems looks even more interesting and and overall it looks pretty cool yes the director of the film m might be a bit kind of iffy with his reputation but i am hoping that he can deliver off on the ballpark with this one so yeah i'm looking forward to it and my number one most anticipated film of the year uh, of the summer it oh wait, okay who am i kidding of course it's deadpool and wolverine what other movie do you think was going to be at number one yeah of course i did a reaction to the trailer just recently so it'll be in the link down description if you want to see more about it but oh yeah i'm freaking hyped for this film i freaking am like i don't need this one doesn't even need an introduction this one just looks outstanding deadpool and wolverine are going to be interacting with each other and this is the real versions not that abomination one back back in um back in which back in x-men origins wolverine see that movie's even forgettable i didn't forget its title <laughs> but but yeah but this is for real this time it looks amazing they're coming to the mcu the villain it looks pretty pretty cool. I mean, I'm not gonna see like a lot of a lot of cool cameos, but mo but most importantly, we're gonna be focusing on Deadpool and Wolverine coming back. And before you guys calm down, don't worry. This isn't like this isn't like this this isn't like retconning the events of Logan. No 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 no. This is a completely different universe, Wolverine. Well, I think. But still, I'm looking forward to see how this turns out. See how this turns out. July 26. Can't get any closer. I'm definitely seeing this opening night. Yeah, I'm definitely watching on opening night. There, there's undeniably no doubt about it. That's my top 10 most anticipated films of the summer. Let me know which, what movies you're looking forward to this summer. Let me know down in the comments below. Like this video if you really enjoyed it. And until next time, peace and take care.